Hey, what's up, y'all? This is my 24-hour update for my 48-hour fast. I'm actually about 27 hours into my 48-hour fast and just wanted to provide an update. It's been a difficult day with this fast. You know, I was working all day. It was a little hard to focus and had some hunger pangs throughout the day, but I'm feeling good now. I did go and did a little bit of a workout, did abs, and sat in the sauna for a little bit at the gym. Just to figure doing an ab workout would be good for this 48 hour fast since I'm burning fat anyway to really maximize that fat burning potential of this fast. But with the 48 hour fast, you know, with fasting, I definitely do also feel a lot of mental clarity and just a good sense of mental well being. Like when you're constantly eating, you feel a little bit of brain fog every time after you eat. And when fasting, you just have that nice uh, energy source. It's also when you go into ketosis, I believe after about 24 hours or so of not eating any food, you go into ketosis. So I'm feeling like I'm probably in a state of ketosis. I do feel a little bit of lightheadedness at times just due to not eating, but I'm making sure to drink a lot of water. I definitely drank over a gallon of water today and then drank some coffee as well, which the coffee can help to subside the hunger pangs and provide a little bit of relief from the hunger. But uh, it also doesn't have any calories when you just drink black coffee, so it is a good beverage to drink while fasting. And like I said, I'm about 27 hours into the 48 hour fast. I'm hoping to be able to get a good night's sleep tonight and hoping that I'm not too hungry to where I can't sleep, but should be fine. I've done it before and I feel I'm feeling tired this evening to be able to get a good night's sleep, wake up and work again tomorrow and continue the fast until tomorrow evening. I'll just drink more water and coffee. It actually, once I get over like 16 hours, it started to not think about food as much, but I have been planning what I'm going to eat when I break the fast. Last time I did a 48 hour fast, that was one of the mistakes I made is I just ate a bunch of food and what I thought was healthy food just because it's in general healthy, but I ate too much and I felt in like a food coma after. So I'm going to uh, eat definitely the bone broth. I need to go buy some of that. And the apple cider vinegar in water is a good way to break a fast as well. Possibly some watermelon as well. And when breaking a fast, when you do like a 48 hour fast, you wanna just eat a very small meal at first. And then maybe a couple hours later, a few hours later, you can eat a little bit more. But you wanna ease yourself into it when breaking a fast to maximize the results of the fast and also to not put yourself into a food coma. So those are some things I've been thinking about around food, but I haven't bought any food yet. I don't want to be tempted. I have like no food around me, so I'm not tempted to eat, but I do think about food at times. So I'm in a good mental state, feel good. I've been hydrating and just feel good letting my body have a break from constantly digesting food because I've been eating so much, you know, over the holidays through January with traveling and, and just eating a lot and my body's constantly digesting. And whenever I'm digesting, then, you know, you get tired. So giving my body a break, letting it really clear out everything and, uh, just feels good to do this 48 hour fast. So that's the update I provided, this 24-hour update. Like I said, I'm about 27 hours into it. It is Thursday evening, going to go to sleep. And in the morning tomorrow, I'll probably provide an update on what I'm weighing, you know, about 36 hours into the fast. And in the morning, you generally weigh the, le uh, the, the least. So I'll provide an update on my weight tomorrow morning. And then another update for the conclusion of the 48-hour fast. And then I'll eat a little bit tomorrow evening and then I'll probably do another weight update the next morning and then into 75 hard challenge so that is going to be a big challenge the 75 hard challenge so I'm definitely thinking about strategically how I'm going to attack the 75 hard challenge so I just want to give you all an update appreciate you watching please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll talk to you in the next one
Peace.